Hey guys, welcome to the 103rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to access every control in your form. So if you want to change the property of a control, such as like if it's enabled or the text or something like that, I'm going to show you how to access all the controls on using one simple method and you don't have to uh, like type out like button one dot text equals, you could just use a, like a method. So uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need to have uh, a few buttons right here, have just three or four of them outside of this group box right here, and just have a group box with at least one button inside of it. So once you have all that in your form, just go ahead and double click on this click me button. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is setting the text of every control to Adam. So we're just going to write a simple for each statement here to loop through every control in the form. So we're just going to say for each control, I'll just call it C, in this dot controls, and this dot controls basically just refers to every control on the form. So for every control in this dot controls, or for every control on the form, we just want to set the text of that control equal to Adam. So now in the debug here, it should just loop through every control and set the text of that control equal to Adam. Hmm. Well, it did for all of them except this button. And that's because this button is inside of this uh, group box. We never told it to access this button. We just told it to access all the controls on the form. And this button right here is called a nested control. That's because it's inside of another control. And this thing that holds the controls, or the group box, is called a container, meaning it holds controls inside of it, or it can hold controls inside of it. So in order to access all of the controls, including this button, we're going to have to write a recursive method. And we worked a little bit with recursive methods when dealing with the tree view. And in case you missed that one, it's basically just calling um, this, a method from inside itself. So if we had a method called like hello, we would just call that hello method from inside it. So first thing we're going to do right here is just create a new method. I'll just call it access all. And we're going to have it basically pass through a control collection. And we're just going to um, have it first set the text of the control equal to Adam. And then we're going to have it check to see if the control has children or if there's controls inside of it. And if there are, then we'll just recall this method so we can set all of those controls equal, or the text of all those controls equal to Adam. So let's just copy this for each statement because we're going to need it. So for each control in the control collection, we're just going to set the text equal to Adam. Now we're also going to check to see if the control has children or if the control has controls inside of it. So we're going to say if C dot has children, and this returns a bool indicating whether the control has children or not, or basically whether the control has controls inside of it. So if there's controls inside of this control right here, then we're just going to recall this access all method and pass through all the controls inside of that control. So we're just going to say access all, and then C dot controls. So if this were a group box right here, then it would set the text of the group box equal to Adam and then it would check to see if it has children. And yes, it does have children. There's a button inside of it. So it will call this method access all and it will pass through all the controls inside of this group box. So it'll just pass through this button since there's only one control inside of this group box. And then it will set the text of that equal to Adam. So now we're just going to call this access all method um, from when we click the button and we're just going to pass through this dot controls. So now we debug here and click this button. Um, the text of all these controls, including this button right here, should be changed to Adam. Yep, perfect. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a few more things that you can do um, using a similar method like this. So see you guys.